Hi everybody and welcome to Wednesday the 24th of February. Now, I believe Gemma and Sam have been eating lots of little mini Easter eggs. Well, lucky them, I don't have any little mini Easter eggs and if I did, I would probably eat them all in one go, which wouldn't be good for anybody. Um, but I have got something that's Easter egg shaped and that is some jelly beans. And I can't eat all of these in one go because what I have to do to get a jelly bean is actually put a little bit of money in. So I'm going to put my money into my jelly bean machine. Oh. I turn the thing and out pops a jelly bean. And it's a bit of an Easter egg shape. So I'm going to eat that instead. Mm. What flavour is that today? Mm, definitely lemon. Mm, very nice. We don't have any of those funny Harry Potter ones in there that really stink, so that's good. Okay, so, mm. so I finish the sweet before I talk. Mm, probably ought to. Okay, so today's reading comes from Luke chapter 15, verse 3. And um, this is a, a story that Jesus told. Um, and it starts like this. Then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the 99 in open country and go and find that lost sheep? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. And then he calls his friends and neighbours together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. I tell you that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. And it's interesting because I'm always losing things. Do you lose things a lot? Maybe not, maybe you're not as old as me. I lose things. I lose my coat, I lose my shoes, I lose one sock. Uh, sometimes I lose both socks. I lose track of what I'm doing. I lose the ingredients that I've just got out of the cupboard to make something. I sometimes think I'm actually losing my marbles. Anyway, Luke has put these three stories together and um, we're going to be looking at them over the next few days. The fact he's put them all together in one place means he must be saying something really, really important. And in today's story, we see that there's a shepherd who loves all his sheep so much that he will go in search of just one that has got lost because they're all just as important as each other. And he cares about every single one of them. So in that story, the shepherd is actually representing Jesus and the sheep are us. And so it's telling us that Jesus finds us so important that he will look for us and he will help us no matter who we are. Every single person is so important to him. And if we need something or we're in danger um, or if we're lost, Jesus will still look for us, even though it's just one person in amongst all the people that are in the world. We're really lucky, aren't we? So, uh, thankfulness jar. Well, I don't have one of them either, but I do have my thankfulness washing line, which uh, we made at Messy Church in January. And so today I'm just going to add another bit onto my thankfulness washing line. So I've got my piece of paper and I'm going to write on there. Okay, and I'm going to attach it to my washing line. So I've got one more thing there to be thankful for. Okay, just lower that line down. Now, a little thing that you could all do at home today, a little extra thing. If you get everyone in your household to uh, draw some sheep and then hide them all around the house. And then when you say go, everybody goes off and looks for sheep. You can't find your own, you have to find other people's because it's too easy to find your own and see if you can hunt for all the sheep that have got lost. Make sure you know how many there were. I wonder if anyone could actually hide a hundred sheep in their house and find them all. And how long would you keep looking for? Because Jesus would keep looking forever. He would be looking out for us for always until we're in a better place. So let's see who can hide sheep and who's really good at finding them. Have fun. Bye. <laughs>